on the menu today, we have sweet potato cornbread, we have salmon, and we also have macaroni and cheese. So I'm gonna list all the ingredients for each dish that you guys will need so y'all can know what y'all gonna eat. It's gonna be one by one, and we're gonna start with the sweet potato cornbread first. So for the sweet potato cornbread, you will need obviously sweet potatoes. You will need honey, bacon powder, but you also will need bacon soda, butter, salt, pumpkin spice, and also cinnamon, and then food coloring, orange food coloring, y'all. I got this because red and yellow makes orange, so. You need milk. You're gonna also need eggs. I have my eggs here. And obviously cornmeal for the cornbread because it's cornbread, so you need cornmeal. And then flour is what you will need as well. So for the macaroni and cheese, y'all, you will need obviously whole milk, half and half, chicken broth, which this is to boil your noodles in, baby. We don't boil our noodles in water no more. Chicken broth. A grater because freshly grated cheese. Noodles, obviously, I got grated cheddar though. And these are the three cheeses that I use in my macaroni, baby. These three here, this is the combo. So smoked Gouda, Gruyere, and sharp cheddar. And then also you will need flour, as well. All right, y'all, so I'm about to start with the sweet potato cornbread because I have to boil these and this is probably gonna take the longest. So first things first, you need to have your sweet potatoes and you need to peel them. So I'm gonna peel the sweet potatoes, baby. And this pillow right here is the best pillow I've ever had. So we just wanna peel. So once we have the sweet potatoes peeled, as you can see, we need to cut them up because we gonna boil these, y'all. Two sweet potatoes, boil them. And you also could bake them, because usually when I make sweet potatoes anyways, I bake them, but boiling is easier for this. So we gonna chop them up. Sweet potatoes cut up. I'm gonna put these in the water so they can boil. So we're gonna let these boil until they're super, super soft, and then we're gonna mash them like sweet potatoes. So now we're gonna jump to the macaroni so that this can be boiling while we prepping all the other, in other ingredients. Chicken broth is what we're gonna boil with. And then, once that's to a boil, I'm gonna add the macaroni and y'all let me tell y'all that this was hard to find because baby everywhere it was sold out of macaroni probably because it's close to thanksgiving but i found me a box and i got two all right y'all so for the cornbread the dry ingredients you will need one cup of cornmeal and one cup of flour so that's pretty much your base so i'm gonna go ahead and measure as y'all can see your girl got her gold measuring cups one cup cup of flour and one cup of cornmeal. Yellow cornmeal, y'all, not the white kind, because it is white cornmeal, we need yellow, baby, and not Jiffy Mix. So next you need a half a cup of sugar, but I'm gonna add a little more because I like my cornbread extra sweet, so I'm gonna do a half a cup and then do like a little half of it. And then you will need two teaspoons of baking powder and then a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Two teaspoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Next, you need one cup, what? Not one cup, one fourth teaspoon of salt, and then one teaspoon of cinnamon and one teaspoon of pumpkin spice. Honestly, I feel like I'm just gonna sprinkle this pumpkin spice and then cinnamon. Now once this is all together, you mixy mixy, and this is gonna be the dry ingredients. So we're gonna do the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients separate, y'all. So for the wet ingredients, you need two eggs, one cup of buttermilk, one stick, and a little extra mold of butter, 
and then two tablespoons of honey. But honestly, I feel like I'm just gonna eyeball the honey. But we need one cup of buttermilk, two eggs, one stick of butter, well, one stick and a half of butter. That's what I did. You can use more, you use less, but one stick. You need one stick of butter. Put it in. And then for the honey, like I said, two tablespoons, but I'm just gonna eyeball it. And two eggs. And then we just whisk this together. And then we're gonna combine, once the sweet potatoes done boiling, we mash them up, we're gonna combine the wet with the dry and the sweet potatoes, and then we're gonna bake it. And the two eggs. And boom, you have your wet ingredients. So we back over here, y'all, because it looks like the chicken broth is coming to a little boil. So we're gonna add the lid. And I also season my chicken broth with a little salt because they just add a little bit more flavor. While the noodles are cooking, we are about to get ready to shred all the cheeses. So remember I said Gruyere, smoked Gouda, and sharp cheddar. And also I do sharp cheddar that's already shredded because this is what goes inside and this is what I top it with. And usually I don't measure the cheese, baby, because I like my macaroni extra, extra, extra cheesy. So I put as much as I want. And usually I use probably like the whole thing when I'm straightening. If you don't have one of these to get you one of these, I use the bigger side, the real side, because I like it. My cheese chunky. So we just shred all the cheeses. By the way, y'all, smoke gouda. It's regular gouda out there, and it's also smoke gouda out there. You need smoked. S-M-O-K-E-D, smoke gouda. And so I'm gonna use the majority of it for the inside, and then I'm also save some for the top. That's it, that's all you get with this one. So this is why I use the whole thing, because I honestly can use more of this. And then you shred your greer the same way. You do the same with your cheddar. And ta-da! There you go, you have all three cheeses, sharp cheddar, greer, and smoked. Gouda. Once the cheese get too small to grade, you don't want to cut yourself, so I just end up chopping it and putting it inside because that actually makes it extra gooey too. I'm just finishing up, grating the rest of my sharp cheddar. That should be enough. Yeah, baby. Look at that cheese. That's what you want. You want a lot of cheese, y'all. Lots. All right, y'all. So now the macaroni noodles is done. I'm about to strain them. Ooh. Ah, she foggy. So I saved a little bit of the chicken broth because you need an extra pasta water to make your, your little roux a little nicer, y'all. So I put that to the side. The potatoes are still boiling, y'all. They getting there. I'm gonna poke my little, ooh, okay. They looking like they poking through, so they might be done. So now it's time to make the roux for the macaroni and cheese. So we just gonna put a little stick of butter, y'all. Just a little stick. We need one cup and a half. And then you need two cups and a half of half and half. Hopefully this is enough, y'all. Oh, 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 oh. Are we gonna make it, are we gonna make it? Oh, we kinda almost there. So a full one of these, y'all. And this is one paint. The sweet potatoes is done being boiled because they super, super soft. So I'ma drain them. We're gonna mix them up super mashed and honestly I'm looking at it and I think I want to add more butter so we're gonna add a little bit butter this is what you want so I'm gonna take this out of the pot and add it into my measuring cup then we're gonna mix all the ingredients together We're gonna add a half a cup of flour, but you're gonna whisk while you're doing this because you need to make sure your flour don't clump up. And then once this is done, we're gonna add a little bit amount of the cheese to this and then mix the macaroni inside of this. And there you have it. Next, we're gonna season it with a little paprika. And black pepper. Whisk some up. 
this is what you want. So it is done. Look at that. Super cheesy. So we're gonna mix in the noodles. And this is the sound it should make. If you know, you know. <laughs> this is the sound of good macaroni and cheese, baby. Look at that. Ooh. Everybody just take a pause, a moment of silence. Listen, come on. It's what you want. <laughs> so after you mix that up, you go back in and add the extra broth you had left over. So now that the macaroni is done, we are about to layer it so that we can put it in the oven and preheat your oven to 325. Mine's already preheated, so once this is done, it's going right on in. And I'm just putting with pretty much coating the whole pan with butter because obviously they don't give it a little bit more flavor. And so what I do is I layer my macaroni before I put it in the oven. So it's macaroni, more little cheese, straight cheese, macaroni, straight cheese, macaroni, straight cheese, macaroni, straight cheese, macaroni, straight cheese, macaroni. And then the end is shredded cheese, and then we pop it in the oven. So let's do it. First layer of macaroni, Ooh, baby. And then we do a little cheese mixture. Sprinkle a little cheese in between. And then you add more macaroni on top. And we're gonna do this over and over until all the macaroni is gone. So this is the last layer for the rest of the macaroni on top. All right, y'all, so this is the top layer. And then all you put on is pretty much the cheese. You wanna cover the whole top with cheese, baby. And we're gonna do the sharp cheddar and gruyere because all my smoked gouda gone is in the inside. So we just gonna top the top with cheddar. You want a lot, baby. A lot at the top. And then the gear. And so the last step is adding a little sprinkle of paprika on top. And ta-da. There you have it, and we're gonna put this in the oven. All right, y'all, so make sure your oven is preheated to 325. And we can go ahead, put it in. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we have all of our ingredients for the sweet potato cornbread. So we got the dry ingredients, which we already did, and we got the wet ingredients, and we also have sweet potato puree, which we made. And now it's only a matter of mixing the wet with the dry. But first, I need to do my orange food coloring because technically you really don't need orange food coloring. If you want like a bright color, like a bright orange, you need orange food coloring. And so I'm mixing red and yellow because that makes orange because I couldn't find regular orange and orange on its own food coloring by itself. So I'm gonna have to mix it. So we're gonna add, let me do this on the paper towel because I'm not trying to stain my island, baby. Do like one, two, three drops of yellow three drops of red. Oh, it's orange, y'all! Look at it! It turned orange! Okay, I think it need a little bit more yellow because it's looking too much like red. But I want it like, you see the difference? Like I want it like closer to this color, but I think we got it. So I mix it and it looks like orange. I feel like it's the same color. So we gonna pour it in to see what we get. I feel like we need more yellow. Yep, that's good. So since we got the wet mixture with the orange food coloring that we mixed together, we're gonna pour that in. And then we also gonna add the sweet potato puree as well. And we're gonna add that little by little. And we just fold, fold and mix. And I may add more food coloring because 
I wanted more of like a darker orange and not lighter orange, but as you can see, it's orange, but I wanted more of a darker orange. Mmm, y'all, it smells so good. It smells like a sweet potato pie. Look at that. So we're gonna add all of it. So you just fold it in. We got it all mixed up. I added a little bit more honey because I wanted it sweeter. So now we're good. We got the parchment paper so it don't stick. And we're just gonna pour this in and pop it in the oven. Booyah! There you have it. And we're gonna put this in the oven for about 25 minutes, maybe longer, y'all. I'm gonna wing it, but I'm gonna set a timer for 25 minutes. All right, y'all, so I ended up taking the cornbread out and putting the oven on broil so that it can get nice and crispy and brown on the top of the macaroni. And then I'm gonna put it back because this is done, so she finishing up. Oh, wow. So the macaroni is out. Look at how beautiful it is. Crisp, golden brown. Looking real good, so we gonna go ahead. Wait, pause again. Listen to the sound, baby, because she about to be real crunch. Come on, listen. Ooh! <laughs> baby, do you see her? They don't call me Chef D for nothing. All right, y'all, so this is the last part of this salmon because this cooked the fastest. So I use Slap Your Mammy, obviously. Garlic, well, this is like a regular garlic season. My mama got this from a garlic festival. I don't know where you can get it from. A lemon pepper, garlic powder, obey, and a little dash of paprika. And we season both sides, the back and the skin, because I eat the skin. Oil inside the pan to get it nice and bubbly. So once that heats up, we're gonna add the salmon on the skillet, add a little butter, and let that do what it do. All right, y'all. So now I'm about to make like my own little glaze to go on top of the cornbread. And so what you need, powdered sugar, honey, a little milk, and then the pumpkin spice. So I'm gonna do a few little spoons of powdered sugar. We're gonna add a little honey. Okay, a lot of honey. And then a dash of milk. We're gonna add that much because if we need to thicken it up we can just add more powdered sugar and then pumpkin spice whisk it up and i'm also going to add a little bit of melted butter in this as well once it's done add a little bit more powdered sugar boom boom so i finish the glaze and i put coloring in it <laughs> so it's like the same color as sweet potato and it tastes so good all right y'all so Cornbread is done. I literally just took it out. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Y'all, it's literally like cake. Oh, it's hot. That looks delicious. All right, you guys, so the food is complete. Also, I have um, spinach, but I already made spinach, my spinach, a million one times on YouTube. So if you wanna see how I make that, then you go look, but it's the best spinach you'll ever have. So, we had a sweet potato cornbread. I already had it, 10 out of 10, so good. The macaroni and the black and salmon. So let's try. Mmm. Oh, baby. At least I ain't even just saying this because you know I'm Chef D now. But like the macaroni, mix the macaroni with the salmon. Like one combo. A hundred out of ten, baby. Very good. And like I said, I already 
taste the cornbread and it's good, but let me show y'all it up close better. Look at that, baby. It's like legit cake in it's so, but I'm gonna bite it on camera for y'all. Mmm. Hundred out of ten. I need it. All right, you guys, so I'm about to finish eating my food because, baby, 10 out of 10, so good. And let me know in the comments below if y'all ever had sweet potato cornbread or if y'all gonna try it because if y'all haven't had it, y'all, it's so good. Like, if you like sweet cornbread, like, if you're one of those people who like their cornbread sweet, like, extra sweet, like, mm, you're gonna love it. And if you like sweet potato pie because that's really what it tastes like. But I hope you all enjoyed this cooking vlog, and I will see you in the next vlog. See you in the next vlog. I love you all. So much, bye! Wait, get this video a thumbs up. I'm thinking 50,000 likes if y'all want more cooking videos, baby, cuz, yeah. Love you! <laughs>